This video is sponsored by Zebronix. Hey guys, what is up? This is Nikhil from topmotions.com and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a really cool logo reveal. I don't really know what to call it, but let's call it a balloon bursting effect. So it's going to be pretty cool and interesting. So without any further ado, let's get straight into After Effects and get started. If you guys are looking for a really high quality speakers or maybe a cool mechanical keyboard or a super responsive mouse or a dope looking cabinet for your next build, then make sure to check out Zebronics.com. From slim LED TVs to wireless headsets, they have it all at a really good and reasonable price. For more information, check out the link in the description below. Alright, so here we are in After Effects. So let's start by creating a new composition. Let's rename this to Main Comp. 1920 into 1080 30 frames 10 seconds i think let's go with 60 frames for this time let's try it out maybe things would look a bit more better so hit ok let's create one more composition for our logo so let's rename this to logo because this is going to be our logo composition and drag in whichever logo that you want to so i'm going to drag in my logo there we go then into the main composition let's drag in the logo composition just like so there we have it and let's pretty quickly create a background so hit ctrl y to create a new solid let's rename this to bg for background and hit ok and add an effect called gradient ramp so we'll just type in ramp and or maybe gradient ramp there we go and let's swap the colors make this a bit kind of a grayish color and set this to radial ramp so now we have something like that let's select the radial ramp and bring this right over here and this somewhere like so let's increase the ramp scatter to let's go with 50 so we don't get any color bendings let's bring this down and there we have it let's make some room right over here Alright, so the first thing that I'm going to do is select the logo composition and add an effect called CC Lens. There we go. Let's set the conversions to minus 200. And then let's go to around, let's say maybe 10 frames or 20 frames. And create a keyframe on the size. So let's say maybe I'll go with zero let's begin with zero actually create a keyframe go to maybe 40 frames and let's bring this up to around let's say 10 maybe hit you so we can see the keyframes then i'll go to one second and 10 frames and let's bring this back to around let's go with six go 20 frames forward in time and let's go to around maybe let's try 15 or maybe let's try 20 let's see what we have something like that looks pretty good let's go 20 frames forward or maybe somewhere around there at two seconds create a keyframe so let's bring this down to maybe 15 and then 20 frames forward in time at two seconds and 30 frames and let's bring this up to let's go with 50 or maybe let's try something like 45 looks good so pretty quickly let's i think yep pretty good so let's check out our animation pretty basic let's select the keyframes and hit f9 to ease ease those keyframes go to graph editor and make sure you're working in the edit speed graph and not in the edit value graph let's select all the keyframes and drag this handle just like so and then select this one and drag it just like so so we have kind of a peak in the center so our animation it is a bit more you know interesting as you can see pretty cool maybe i'll just make the keyframes a bit longer so select all the keyframes hold alt and let's drag it just like so maybe till three seconds let's see okay this is looking pretty good 
I think the keyframes are a bit too saturated so hit F9 to ease, ease those keyframes again. Let's go again in the graph editor and this time I'm going to tweak it a little bit. Just a touch. Let's see. Yeah, this is looking more natural. Pretty nice. And that's the first part of this thing. So let's pretty quickly what I'm going to do is hit Control D to duplicate it. And hold Alt and close bracket to crop the composition. Also crop this up as well. So hold Alt and close bracket. So now we have two composition. Hit U so you can see all the keyframes and delete the CC lens effect. And now I'm going to add an effect called pixel poly. Now this is a really cool effect and you can do crazy stuff with this. Like I mean it literally. CC pixel poly. And let's set the force to around. Let's go with maybe 70. Okay, so you can see anything. You can't see anything right now. So let's bring down the grid spacing to maybe around 15. Also, I'm going to set this to 0. And this to 45 degrees. And the gravity, I'm going to set this to 0. So now we have... Let's pretty quickly make this all the way up. And let's drag it just right over here. So now we have something like this. You can see pretty cool you're getting the idea of what I'm going for pretty cool right let's add an effect called simple choker pretty quick and maybe I'll just set this to around let's go with maybe 15 something like or maybe 10 15 is a bit too much 10 should look good or maybe 12 okay perfect and then what I'm gonna do is Go to around 4 seconds, create a keyframe on simple choker, choc uh, soco, sorry, choke mat. <laughs> let's go to right over here and set this to around, let's go with 35 maybe. Pretty cool. So now we have something like that. Hit you so you can see the keyframes and maybe I'll just drag it a bit more further in time. So now we have something like this. Looks pretty nice I think it's a bit too slow so maybe I'll just increase the force to around 80 pretty nice yep looking pretty nice let's duplicate it so hit control D to duplicate it and this time I'm going to keep it really big chunks. So first of all, we don't need any keyframe for the choco. So I'm going to set this just to 12. And in the force or the gravity, I'm going to set this to 0.5. Also, maybe tweak the spinning amplitude a little bit just to get a different, you know, look to it. Maybe somewhere around there. And let's increase the grid spacing to just to create a bit more bigger particles. So, so we have a little bit of randomness, you know. Maybe I'll just set this to gravity to 0.3 maybe. Because 0.5 is a bit too much. So 0.3 should be good. You rotate it a bit more. Let's check it out. Maybe I'll make them 100. And increase the gravity maybe 0.4. Okay, this is looking pretty good. Okay, this is looking pretty interesting actually. Maybe I'll increase the grid spacing to around 35. Or maybe let's let's go with 45 actually. A bit more bigger chunks. Just like so. Okay, so this is looking pretty good. So now what I'm going to do is select all the logo compositions and pre-comp it. Let's call this logo animation. Hit OK. And let's create a texture which is going to be a reflection for our logo. So let's create a new composition. Let's call this texture. Actually, it's going to be a reflection. So let's call this reflection actually. All right, and create a new solid. Hit Control Y to create a new solid. 
let's rename this to HDRI well it's not gonna be an HDRI but you know just rename it just renaming it to HDRI make it white and I'm gonna use an effect called vanity of lines and increase this up let's increase the width somewhere around there maybe make it look something like this also rotate this up to maybe let's go with 45 degrees and something like that hit control D and rotate this up in the other direction that is minus 45 so now we have something like that nothing crazy let's go into the main composition let's drag in the reflection comp on the top of the logo composition so we have something like this and let's add an effect called turbulence displace so we have a displacement a little bit of displacement not much on really subtle displacement actually let's go into reflection maybe I'll just tweak this a bit more maybe let's increase the width let's go in 95 actually and this one to 95 as well something like that pretty nice all right so let's tweak the turbulent displacement a little bit little bit let's set the amount to around let's go with 50 maybe and let's decrease the size to around let's go 25 that looks pretty good to me and yeah everything else looks pretty good so let's add an effect called linear whip to this and let's set this to around maybe somewhere around there only 48 around 48 looks good and feather amount to around 5 something like that maybe a bit more something like that and also add an effect called CC lens that we just used before CC lens there we go so now we have something like that let's maybe tweak the settings a bit maybe decrease the size to around let's go with 24 25 something like that also set the conversions to minus 200 so now we have something like this and also I'm gonna chain the linear whip angle to something like so so we have something like that and let's increase the you know size of the turbulence or maybe not the size of the turbulence actually I'm gonna increase the reflection size but before that what I'm gonna do is select the logo animation and put this above the reflection just like so and change the reflection track mat to alpha man all right so now we have a reflection and then I'm gonna duplicate the logo animation let's bring this below the reflection and turn this on so now we have something like that but you can see it's not actually looking that good so let's decrease the opacity just like so really minimal to maybe around 13 percent so now we have a really subtle reflection on our logo which looks actually pretty interesting as you can see maybe a bit more maybe 12 and play around with the turbulent displacement as well just you know to create that really glossy surface effect which looks pretty good actually something like that pretty nice so let's go ahead and add our text to this animation so it's burst up at three seconds so what I'm gonna do is type in my text you can of course type in whatever that you want I'm gonna type in the motions let's change the font to let's go with a prime time maybe that looks pretty good actually it's a bit bigger set this to zero and let's place it in the center maybe just a bit smaller something like that let's make it 3d hit R to bring down the rotation properties and rotate it in the y direction so let's set this to around 90 or maybe minus 90 create a keyframe go few frames forward in time to around 3 second and 30 frames and set this to zero so now we have something like that as you can see 
pretty simple let's select the keyframes hit f9 and go to graph editor and let's just drag this handle just like so to create a really cool motion to it something like that so now we have something like this so maybe i'll just tweak it a little bit right over here and also crop this up to hold alt and close bracket and put this behind our logo composition so now we have something like this which looks pretty cool actually so let's check out our animation I think this needs to a bit be a bit faster it's break right over here so let's go into a logo comp and maybe I'll just you know tweak around with the keyframes a little bit just drag this in maybe something like that let's see maybe increase this it's looking a bit slow so let's select the keyframes go to graph editor and let's tweak this maybe let's bring this right over here let's see okay maybe just let's try to find a good spot just like so right over here i want this to be fast okay now it's looking a bit better so let's check out our animation again yep this is actually looking pretty good the animation is a bit sl too slow so you need to tweak it a little bit so let's go ahead and do that maybe i'll just go right over here and see the size so it's set to 15 let's go right over there let's tweak this a little bit right over here and what i can do is actually uh, instead of setting it to you know 67 i can just go with something like a small number like 30 maybe select the keyframes go to graph editor and let's tweak them up something like so maybe a bit right over here just need to find that right position so that it looks more natural we'll just set this to 12 let's see yep that is actually looking pretty good pretty nice now one more thing that you could do is create some shadows of the animation so to do that it's pretty simple just select the logo composition hit ctrl d let's rename the bottom comp to shadow and then hit s to bring down the scale properties unlink this and just scale this just like so just a little bit bring it down just like there you can see now we have it let's add a fill to it make it black and add a fast blur pretty quick increase it to really something like a high number repeat edge pixels and bring down the opacity as per your requirement i'm gonna cre keep it really subtle to something like that looks pretty nice to me and there we have our really cool looking logo reveal and as you can see it's really simple and easy to create so that is a wrap for today i hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and learned something new today and yep i will see you guys in my next video till then take care thank you so much for watching guys and don't forget to stay raw stay creative